Number 11, to think that you're special, there's got to be something very specific in you. You got to be specially full. <laughs> I like this one. There is a lot of, there is a lot of people out there that think that they're the big shit. They think, and sometimes they think, oh, I'm becoming a good player. I see that a lot in the junior tournament. A lot of juniors that they're barely starting to make good or some of them are already good, well-established players, you know? But they, I don't know what happens. They start feeling like they're too big, like they're awesome, like they're all, oh, you know, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the greatest thing ever. You know, they just, they just start, their, their ego start getting too big. And Uncle Tony said, for you to think that you're really good, that you're special, that you're awesome, you gotta be awesomely stupid. You know, you gotta be a special fool. And it's true. For those of you parents, coaches, you know, friends, that you, you train or you have a kid or someone that, that is a little bit, you know, that a, little, a, a little too much, I would say, cocky, and, and, and that things are getting a little bit to his head, you have to, you have to, you have to learn to control that. Kids, as well as adults, we have to learn to grow up in an environment that is going to bring us down when we're starting to believe that we are sitting next to God. You know, that is super important because the only thing that is going to happen and, and, and nobody, this is, this is a law that doesn't fail. The only thing that's going to happen is when you think you're too big, something is going to happen to you that is going to put you in your place. And you can ask that to John McEnroe. He said it himself, it happened to him. There was a time when he thought he couldn't even fit through the door in, 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 to walk into a room. He thought he was way too big. And you know what? That was exactly the time right before Lendl. And then Lendl came along, you know, and things totally changed for him. And then he started to struggle with, with, with you know, uh, health, you know, and injuries and stuff like that. And he tried to come back and he couldn't, you know. I mean, it's just karma has a, karma has a very, for a lot of people, could be a very cruel but very true and clear way to put you in your place. You don't want to face karma, guys. So just keep your head, keep your head clear and stay humble. All right. Um, let's see. Twelve. Winners are not special people that succeed with no help. They know that they need to accept external help. They know that in most cases they won't succeed if they're not open to advice from others or help from other sources as books, videos, etc. If you don't deal well with correction, you'll have a much more difficult time to succeed, if you ever do. That's true. You gotta stay humble and accept that you know what, you always need help. You always need a coach. You're always gonna need help from videos, from webinars, from books, from anything. You gotta help, you got to get help from anything and you gotta be wise enough to accept that, you know, if you're a kid and your dad is trying to help you, your coach is going, trying to help you and you already, you're around that nine year old, 10 year old age where you're starting to become more independent and you don't listen to them, you think you think that you're Superman and you get run over, nothing is gonna happen to you, you're just gonna get up and walk away, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, I mean, even, even even the best in the world have coaches because they know that's, that's how they improve. It's like the best players in the, the the best basketball players in the world, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, they had a coach, they had a mentor. Roger Federer, um, you just think of any other any other athlete or businessman or any successful people in the world. They have mentors, they have people that are helping they allow they allow them to help him you know and when you allow people to help you the only thing someone that helps you something that helps you is just a bridge that is gonna is gonna let you go instead of going through all the troubles that these people had to go through they're just gonna let you they're just gonna help you go through a bridge jump all that trouble get all that knowledge and move way forward so if you're not, if you're the kind of kid or the kind of adult that is not listening to other people because you you think you don't need to, well, and again, karma is gonna show you that you're wrong, and you and you and you better be ready because when it shows to you, it's gonna be it's gonna hurt like hell. So, all right, um, let's see, thirteen. Rafa's mindset is the result of hard work. He wasn't born with it. It is something that he developed. Another thing, no naturals. 
you develop the mental strength, you develop the fighting, the will to fight. This is just something that you gotta develop it. How do you develop it? Well, with habits. Every day, when you show up to practice and when everything you do, you gotta be mentally strong. You gotta think that you can. You gotta, you gotta have that will to fight and go a little longer and longer and pushing yourself and pushing your limits. And the last one, if you play the last point as if it was the last one, there's a pretty good chance that you'll win. Yeah? If you play the last point, if you play every point with the same, you get used to play, you have the intensity here, this is one and this is 10. Most people go like that, you know? They go one, then they go to jump to eight, then they go to five, then they go to 10, they go to three. You know, sometimes you keep it longer on, on eight and then you drop to two, you know? But if you keep if you keep that intensity, it becomes a habit. And if it becomes a habit that your intensity is on the 10, nine or 10, but I would say 10, that means physically and mentally, that means that you have a pretty good chance of winning. Why? Because the other guy is going like this. See, up and down, up and down. But you stay steady here, you have a pretty good chance that just because of that intensity, you're gonna be very well focused and, and willing to run and do whatever it takes to win. You have a really, really good chance to win the match. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I'm sorry that this is a little long. It's 14 points. I thought it was really important to let you know about this. If you speak Spanish, I'm gonna put the link down here. You know, so you can watch the video. Um, but for those of you, I just wanted to put it out there for those of you that don't speak Spanish. Because even when you speak Spanish, it's, it's, it's a Spanish from Spain. And it was, there were some words that it, even for me were a little difficult because I didn't know them very well or the pronunciation was different. But anyways, um, I hope you like it. I, I know there is more that I wanted to talk about, but I knew it was going to be long. So I'm going to just leave it for another video. Okay. And well, just give me a like, subscribe to my channel, questions, suggestions, you know, and go out there, be centered, be bold and be perseverant. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.